In this video, I'm going to upgrade my MacBook 2010 with a Seagate hybrid drive. You're going to need a Phillips 00 and a Torx T6 screwdriver to complete this installation. Once the bracket is removed, you must uh, remove the SATA power and data cable, which will give you the bare drive. Now you will need to remove the two Torx T6 screws from both sides of the drive. These are the screws that actually mount the drive in place so it does not shake while you move your MacBook. Next you will reapply the SATA cable to the drive, which could be an SSD or a standard hard drive or even a hybrid like I'm showing here. Mount it from bottom to top to make sure that it is even and then reapply the bracket that I show here with the two Phillips head screws to keep the drive in place. Repeat the initial steps for completion. Be sure screws are from the same holes that they were taken out of and do not tighten with force. When you turn your MacBook on, you're going to see a folder with a question mark, which means there is no OS on the drive. You're going to need to boot from a Mac OS X USB or DVD, access disk utility, format the drive as a Mac OS Extended Journaled, and then proceed to installing Mac OS X. This is what the disk utility menu looks like, and this is what it'll show when you are installing OS X. Once the installation succeeded, you will be able to now use your new hard drive on Mac OS X. I thank you for watching, and if you like my content, please like my videos with that thumbs up, and I have uh, more to come. Thank you.